I don't know how much charge is in this uh, hat cam or not, so we'll we'll see. But I thought, yeah, I'll turn it on and see what we get. This is the third pack this morning. You got weather moving in, so get our timer going. Confirm countdown. Throttle hold. Let's get up in the air. Stunt two. 95 flat. Pyro to the right. Pyro to the left. Looks like everything's working okay. Except for me, of course. Not gonna do anything insane here this morning. I really need to turn up my my limit on the there and get my faster pyro rate. But this morning I just been kind of working in some forward flight, working on my orientations. This is my third pack, so I should be warmed up, you would think. Alright, let's do some orientation here. For some reason, rolling nose into the left is harder for me than from the right. From the right, no problem. A weeks ago I had it where I could just sit here with a really slow pyro and correct it all the way around but been rusty for almost a week now too much work going on not enough chance to fly I should be able to do about three or four rotations like that, even slower though. My ones to the left are really weak. Let's get in the box here.
I just haven't flown enough packs to be comfortable. I'm all tense and I keep lifting the transmitter up off of its strap. And I don't know any remedy to that than just to fly a bunch more packs. Nope, there's the timer. Time for auto. Still in stunt two. Okay, there's the timer, but the onboard hasn't gone off yet. So when that happens, when I still got time on the pack, I like to sit here close in and do some side in hover. Very slow forward flight. I think it's good for my orientation. And then, okay, there's the onboard. Time for auto. Really, time for auto. There we go. That's probably my best auto of the day so far because I didn't bounce it. The other ones I didn't bounce too bad, but uh, bounced them a little bit. So good auto, good flight. I don't know, this weather's moving in. Maybe I have time for one last pack. Check it out.